Get it guys, back to back again. Uh, today we're going to check out the new uh, video transmitter from EWRF. It's a E709 TM3 Pro. Fucking mouthful. Uh, this is what she looks like. I'm going to bend you down over the bench in a second and we're, we'll check her out. So the EWRF E709 TM3 Pro. It's again, fucking mouthful. Uh, video transmitter it's not bad I, I really do like it uh, uh, these little snap-on bits it's obviously meant for a 30 stack uh, you can snap that off and and place it elsewhere uh, the look I'll, I'll jump into a few things that I don't like off the bat um, it, nothing major just a few little complaints just there's no option to for an SMA it comes with a reverse polarized SMA to a MMCX connector it is a good connector and it's ah, stuck on there quite well, but it's, yeah, reverse polarized, so kind of useless for most people, so lucky I've got another one around. Uh, yeah, what else did I not like about it? Ah, the fact, yeah, it just, that's how it comes, bare like that. Uh, I, I do sort of wish it, it came with, with some heat shrink or, or something, but, um, yeah, once again, tiny complaint, really. Um, oh, one other tiny complaint is the, the filtering isn't great it, it's quite minimalistic um potential to be maybe noisy but we'll, we'll, yeah we'll see that on the flight test but uh yeah so that's that's all i don't like about it things i do like about it uh it's a pot smart audio which is awesome uh, it's 25 200 500 and pit mode it also has a custom um, mode but I mean, it's kind of useless because you can only really push it an extra 100 milliwatts I believe to like 600 milliwatts as far as the documentation says so I mean I'm probably not going to bother with the custom mode uh, overheat protection so it's kind of like the tramp where you know if it senses that it's heating it's going to lower the, the the power levels down and, and until it cools down obviously so that's pretty cool um, 7 to 26 volts uh, so you know 6s compatible and not too much current drain very similar to most other video transmitters a about 220 odd at 500 milliwatts 220 milliamps at 500 milliwatts power output roughly and um, yeah so I mean I'm, I'm gonna chuck that into the rooster pretty soon uh, otherwise i am going to just test the the rf levels and and see how they are from the factory and, and see how accurate they are um and yeah we'll go for a fly okay so red and green means it's uh transmitting sorry red and blue and double tap at the button just red is pit mode and double tap it back and when the blue's on that's transmitting okay so from there to get into obviously it's, it's very similar to most video transmitters it's just a hold so one flash of red and then the blue flashes to tell you what channel you're on so one, two, three, four, and then one press to change channels, and then a long press to, to go into the next setting. So now a two red flashes is band, and we're on band one, two, three, four, and then long hold again. And now we're on power, and one flash is 25 milliwatts. Okay, so, and then. Long hold again saves all the settings. It's very important that you do that long hold at the end to save the settings and not just unplug, otherwise they won't take. Um, other things to mention, there is custom mode, as I mentioned earlier, that you know sort of varies between um, 500, uh, sorry, 25 milliwatt and 600 milliwatts. And so you've, you've got your, your three settings there and then when you hold the button and power on it unlocks uh, f extra settings so then you have a fourth setting a fifth setting and a sixth setting the fourth and the fifth setting are for custom power so on the fourth setting um, you've got 
10 settings essentially and it goes up by like 10 hundred by like 10 milliwatts and then on the fifth setting you've got a increment of 100 um, going between 25 and 600 milliwatts um, sorry and and four uh, yeah mode four is is increment of of 10 instead of an increment of one for the the total of 100 it, it's a bit confusing but most people aren't even going to play with it. And then, of course, the sixth mode is to turn the microphone on or off. Okay. So now I we'll, might as well check the power output on this thing. I've already set up the, the band and the channel for me. measuring average on the correct frequency okay so in 25 milliwatts we're getting roughly 30 milliwatts so that's nice it's not less it's always good so I have to um and I really I should leave that there for a few minutes and and see how it goes but I'll just quickly go through and and check all the all the power outputs so long hold long hold long hold okay so now we'll bump her up to 200 okay and we're getting about 160 and then we'll bump her up to 500 and we're getting 480 so pretty damn close back down to the 25 milliwatt setting and now that the unit's actually starting to warm up um, it's you know it, oh god it's a couple of degrees warmer than my hand now I can actually feel it physically warm um, we're a little bit lower than before so then we'll go up again 150s and still around the 480 that's nice okay so at least on 25 you're getting a true 25 to 30 200s around the 150 and then the 500 milliwatts you, you know this is all it all changes on what frequency and and, and whatnot you're on like it, it will output different power levels on different frequencies but for the main part it's fairly close to the advertised power outputs, which is always good. Okay, so now I'm just going to solder up and give her a fly.